Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service. And today I'm going to show you another vulnerability. This one is a reflected cross-site scripting vulnerability. However, there is filters in place which we have to bypass. So let's get started. So first and foremost, um, what is good practice to do is always look for these kind of hidden parameters, right? Like, so you see we are on an index PHP and there may be hidden parameters. So one easy way of finding them is going over to, to Burp and then basically <clears throat> looking for that index PHP file and send this to an extension called Paraminer, right? Like, so the extension is called Paraminer and then you can guess the parameters. And then for example, you can guess all the get parameters. Now I have done this in advance already. And if I go over to my extensions tab and I'm going to look at my Paraminer extension in the output column, you can see that there is something called act. So there's a parameter called act. And the first thing we are going to, to try is basically we want to see if this uh, is vulnerable to cross-site scripting, okay? So what, what, what I'm going to do is I'm simply moving this over to repeater, right? And then I send the request and that's basically our, our homepage. So I'm, I'm appending the act parameter and I'm saying, um, hello, okay? And then I see what happens. And then something interesting happens here. So you can see that this, my input has been reflected on the output effectively. So, but this is like in a common tag, right? So probably we have to play a bit with it, right? So what happens if I, if I enter like a normal script payload, like a, a cross-site scripting payload here and see what the result would look like, like a simply alert zero, you know, and then close the script tag and see what's happening. And basically what you can see here is the alert zero is being reflected, but the script tag is not. So there's there's a filter in place, right? So if I cannot use the, the script tags, well, what else can I do? Well, first and foremost, I think it would be nice to, to break out of this common tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying something like this, right? And say, or I say, hello here and then try to break out and then I say hello again and then see what happens next. And you can see this actually closed that comment tag out here. So this is great. Um, what I'm going to try next, so I already know that there are some filters in place, but the script tags are, are, are being um, filtered. So what I can do here is instead of the hello again, is I could maybe I could use like an image tag, right? Image and then say source equals X. So I'm putting a plus in between because this is simply, this reflects in the URL encoding, this reflects like a blank space. And then I can say image source X, or I can leave it out for now, see if it, if it takes this. And then I can say on error, equals so it's trying to load this image this javascript code says like I'm, I'm loading an image from source x which is obviously not existent and then if there is an error in this in this uh, image source which there will be then i want to fire the prompt message right so the prompt message um i often use the prompt message for for the reason that the prompt message doesn't often get filtered, right? Like, so the, the, the alert message gets more often filtered than the prompt message. And then um, if you would log in with the functionality, right, you would see there's an ID parameter as well. So I append an ID parameter just for sake of completeness, but I leave this blank, something like this, right? So, and then if I fire this, um, I can now see that it looks quite good, right? Like it has been reflected. So I sh want to see the response in the browser. So I take this over and I want to see the response in the browser here and nothing happened, right? So there's obviously something wrong in the code. Let's, let's work here, like in our, in our URL. So we say image SRC image source equals X and then on error equals prompt 
prompt and then zero and id equals blank okay let's try this and it again did not work so there is something wrong in the syntax and this is all trial and error right like so for example um maybe i missed a plus or something right like so let's take a look at this one here at this payload this basically says martin and then i'm closing the script here image plus source so it might as well be that right like um you you remember what i said earlier that you need to url encoded so the plus is a blank space url encoded and then um i didn't do this in my other example right so um if you look at this this looks pretty much complete so let's send this first of all let's send this again and then we see how this looks like and this looks like um pretty much complete right so um let's load this in the browser and then put it in here and there you go there you have your cross-site scripting vulnerability and there is numerous ways to bypass this by the way so this is like the, the prompt i initiated and but certain tags were filtered like like the script tags were filtered and things like that and what, what we can try now is like for example would this work with an actual alert so if i put in alert instead of the prompt see if they're filtering this um probably not let's see change request method no um show response in browser take this and put it in here again and it also works so the alert zero or the alert anything is not filtered but um, the script tags are filtered so i can bypass this by using like an image source tag instead and then like an on error or on load or you know like an event handler basically and there's numerous options to to do that but this is just like to demonstrate how you can bypass filters if certain filters are in place i hope you like it and i look forward to see you in the next video